All right, go ahead, make your own juvenile jokes right there. Get it out of your system. Today, we're talking about screws. And there's a lot of different kinds. Let me show you about some of the things you need to know. Uh, let's talk about what drives a screw. There's two main kinds you'll see. There's your standard Phillips, or the plus screw, as my family calls it. And these are a little bit harder to find because I hate them with a passion. But there's your slotted screw, which is just a straight line. Those are your two main kinds, okay? If I go and get my four-in-one screwdriver, there's my bestest, newest one right there. Just kidding. My four-in-one screwdriver is going to have, as you might have guessed, four different screw heads on it. That is definitely not my best one that I own. So on one end, I've got a standard, standard slotted and a Phillips. On the other end, I have another standard slotted and a Phillips. The bigger one is a number two Phillips. That's your standard Phillips size right there. It's got a little bit of a square on the end. And right there is a number one Phillips. It's got more of a dot on the end. And in a minute, I'll show you a number three Phillips. So aside from your Phillips and your standard slotted, let me show you some other screw types. Just as soon as I put this monstrosity back away. Somebody left this outside. I don't know who that could be. Okay, another type of screw is called a Torx screw, T-O-R-X. And those have numbers on them. And the advantage of these is, like the name implies, you can apply a lot of torque to this. It's a star-shaped star driver that fits right in there. So now we've got Phillips, standard slotted, Torx. There is a square head. Okay, the advantage of these is I can use this on a small headed screw. So this is a trim screw. So a Phillips screwdriver would probably not fit in there very well, but a square head will. Uh, an interesting thing, here's a number three Phillips head. So it's got the plus pattern, but I can also use a square driver in there and that will turn that. If you want to be able to drive just about any kind of screw known to man, Harbor Freight has these for really cheap. These are drill driver attachments. So there's your square head. And they come in different sizes. I'm going to go get my other kit. Let's start with a Phillips screw. So this is a Phillips head number two. This is your standard size. And if I take my drill driver over here, that's what I keep on that at all times. And that number two fits in there. Nice and neat. It's not gonna cam out. Camming out is when the driver advances and the screw does not, and it shears off the metal inside. So a number two Phillips bit fits in like so. Has a nice tight fit. Notice there's no gaps around that. If I try to number one Phillips bit, if we look on there right there, it says P1, that means Phillips 1. Okay, if I put that in there, notice how loosely it fits. Okay, if I tried to turn that, it would jump out and it would strip out that screw. And this is a cheap gold screw. Um, they're great for just doing quick, easy work, but you don't want to use these for um, construction where something has to hold. And on the other side is a Phillips 3. You can just barely see it on there. Trust me, it's a Phillips 3. Okay, on the end, it's got kind of a square nub right there. That's not going to fit into that Phillips screw. Now, what's interesting though, so here's a Phillips 3. Uh, this is a deck screw. Uh, it's been covered with uh, colored epoxy, so it blends in with your deck boards. And so that Phillips 3 fits right in there. The advantage of the bigger head is that it's going to allow more torque, so it's not going to jump out of there and strip out. The interesting thing with the Phillips 3 is I can take this out, and I can also use a square drive. This is an R2, and that fits in that same hole, and I can use that to drive it. And actually, I've discovered if you use a square driver on these, it's less likely to cam out than the Phillips is. So another type of square, like I showed you, so here is a rec an R1. This is a trim head screw, so it's got a smaller head. And you have to use a square drive in order to 
get the contact you need in there and have it not spin out and also have not have the bit wreck your wood. And then here's your star bit or your Torx bit. And these are identified with T1 through T... They probably go up. I don't know how big. I'll Google that and stick it in the video. Okay, so there's your star bit right there. So those are your main type of drivers. Okay, we've talked about the types of drivers. Let's talk about the type of head. So these are all fluted, which means you've got a flat top and you have an angle like that going into the wood. And that allows it to basically compress the wood around and you want to drive this so it fits flush with the wood. Okay, a disadvantage on certain materials though is that it will, as the screw goes in, it will displace the wood and cause the wood to bubble up. So sometimes on these you'll see a dual thread, like on this one. You've got the drive threads that go right there and this last one basically drills a hole. It moves that wood out of the way so when the head comes down it doesn't cause it to bulge. Okay, and on our fluted heads, you've got your standard size head, and the small one is a trim screw, so it's going to be less visible when we put it into the wood. Um, I have another one here that's... This is from an outdoor project I was doing. So this one's stainless steel. That won't rust. I have another one that's colored, and that's notice that's a Torx bit, but that's slightly smaller than the one we've been using. Okay, as we get into longer screws... If I were to try to drive this into a board, at some point the friction on the board would be so great that this would just snap. So they don't put threads on the entire length. Uh, they only put threads on about half the length. You've got the dual thread right here, so that's going to help drill out that extra section right here just to make so there's not friction on this part. So as this drives in, this threaded part is just a little bit bigger than that last shank right there. So it's making a hole for that to go in so it's not rubbing as you turn. Also on this, if you look, there's some teeth right there. So as I drive this in, it's going to cut that first thread. Instead of wedging in, which will cause the board to possibly split, having that part right there actually cuts the wood so it doesn't split the wood. And then on this last part right here, notice those little notches right there? That just helps it as it seats in to uh, carve out a little bit of that wood and give it a nice solid place to sit. Okay, so these are wood screws right here. Another type of screw is a machine screw. And the main difference is you've got finer threads, and these are designed to be used with a nut or some sort of a threaded insert. Okay, so this I would have to pre drill that hole for that. That's a machine screw. Okay, this has a combination head. I can either use a slotted or a Phillips to drive that. And if we look at the head this way, in comparison to our wood screws, that's a fluted screw. So this is what's called a round head. So the head is round on top, flat on bottom. So if I were to put this onto a board, that would sit with the screw protruding above the top of the board. If you're in my HVAC class, we'll start talking about sheet metal screws. So they look like a wood screw, but the threads are tighter together, and they're generally a shorter screw. Uh, because we're going into metal, we need a little bit more torque, so it's very common to use a hex head on that. And you can use that with a driver. Let's see if I can grab the right one on the first try. Nope. So you can use that. Yeah, shooting videos of the motorcycles. So the best way to use these, um, you could use them with a socket set, but there are drivers made specific, specifically for these. One, it's magnetized, so when I put that on my driver, it will hold that in. But also, if you look at a, cress or a socket set, these shoulders are rounded somewhat. And on a short screw head like this, they tend to cam out. Cam out means that it lifts and turns and goes back down, and as it does that, it rounds those corners. Okay, so let's review. There's different kinds of drivers, from star to Phillips to slotted to square. 
there's different types of heads. You've got fluted heads, round heads, and in this case it's a hex head which would also sit up above. You have different kinds of threads. You've got wood screw, machine screw, and metal screw threads. And within that you have different different threads on the shank. So you might have a dual thread on a deck or a fence type screw. Or for a longer construction screw you might just have an open shank with no threads on it. So there's different kinds of screws in a nutshell.